Before I go ahead and start with this video, go ahead and check out the videos Super Dacov made about Pyrido Gypsy Water and uh, live uh, chat he had with me on his channel about the Fragrantica situation uh, and just ignore the white uh, racist in the comments down below and his video is just clueless, completely ignorant and horrible people in general but I'm very thankful to Jacob, very very thankful for bringing attention to this issue and for using his platform for good and I'm also very thankful for all the positive comments and the support. I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna link the videos down below. Go check them out and that's it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have to be somewhere real quick and I have a couple of minutes to film the unboxing part of the video. So today we are going to be unboxing Dolce Gabbana Red Cap Parfum made in France version and let's go ahead and do it real quick in Emilio fashion Open the fuck up Rip that bitch open. Come on. There we go. Beautiful red velvet box. This version is, let's see, made in France by Beauty Prestige International. 79% volume. She's concentrated. And there she is. DNG Red Cap Made in France version. Now let's go ahead and smell her, the opening, and then I'm gonna have to leave immediately. Okay, the opening is very different than the Made in Germany ver version and also the Vintage Euro Italia version. It's very different. Way softer, it's very clean, all the headache. The basil is very toned down. The Made in Germany version has a lot of basil in the opening. This one doesn't really. Hmm. Interesting. It's really watered down, you guys. It's very, it's very user user friendly now. <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly a little bit disappointed with the opening. I'm used to that very harsh, punch in the face type of aldehyde. With mm, this is another one of those like punch you in the face aldehyde smells, uh, and it. With basil, this one doesn't really have that punch in the opening, unfortunately. It's very lead-like. <laughs> yeah. It lost its trashiness the previous versions used to have. She's not trashy anymore, unfortunately. But I'm gonna wear it now, and then when I come back home, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Actually, my first impressions on this new Made in France version. So I'm back, bitches. Uh, where is she? There she is, the Made in France version. I wore it today, but I made a mistake. I wore a sweater from a couple of days ago. And on that day, I wore this one, sneak peek. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it ate, 
DNG app. <laughs> he just destroyed it completely. It's a very strong perfume. I'm gonna talk about it in another video. Okay, so the longevity is a joke, unfortunately. It's very weak now. Uh, the opening is very different. It's there's a lot of lily of the valley I smell in the opening in this very annoying uh, citrus, some type of citrus. I don't know if it's mandarin or something. It's almost apple and it's really annoying. <laughs> it smells like a drugstore take on Dolce & Gabbana signature. It really does, you guys. I'm sorry, but that's just my honest opinion. Let me show you the other versions of, I have of this perfume. It's my favorite perfume, you guys. I just love it so much. It's one of my favorites. Uh, this is the previous version. Uh, the Made in Germany version from 2016, I believe. Oh god, this one is amazing. Uh, it's all about the uh, aldehydes and basil. There's also sandalwood in there. Oh, she fell down. Let me get her real quick. This is the original vintage version. The first edition. Made by Euro Italia. This is just a masterpiece, you guys. It's it's not you can't really compare it to anything. It's amazing. I also have the pure perfume. This one is really hard to find. <laughs> there is zero information about it online. Yeah. So I, as you can see, I really love this perfume. It's just I'm really disappointed with this new formulation by Shiseido, I believe, right? Prestige International is Shiseido, I believe. Yeah. Mm -mm. She's not given the gift. I mean, she's She's pretty, but she she lacks the uh, the personality the original DNG has, especially the vintage version. Don't even think you're getting anything close to this one. No, if you love this particular the original version, then try to hunt a vintage bottle on eBay or something. There are still plenty available, but this one no. I'm not feeling her. I'm really not. The Made in Germany version was incredible, you guys. I don't know why they changed the formula, just, yeah, whatever. But at, at least they still make it. And the whole distribution uh, thing about this one is just really confusing. It's only available on Amazon and other secondhand websites. It's, uh, it's just really, <laughs> it's very confusing. It doesn't make any sense, but anyways. And just to clear things up for those who don't know, this is Dolce Gabbana signature. Some people call it Red Cap. It's uh, DNG's first perfume from 1992. It's an Eau de Toilette. Has nothing to do with the current Eau de Parfum they're selling. Dolce Gab Gabbana, Eau de Parfum, Parfum. No, there is a completely different perfume. Don't, don't confuse the two. I know it's very confusing. The new bottle it looks somewhat similar. But the stopper is kind of similar to this one here. It doesn't look like this. So don't confuse the two. They're completely two different perfumes. So this bottle here I have is from 1992, the first edition made by Euro Italia. So this bottle is older than I am. <laughs> and it still smells amazing. I have it here. Oh God, that opening is just glorious. Aldehydes, tons of aldehydes. There is, you can smell the uh, the sandalwood and a lot of basil basil in the opening. You can also smell the civet in here. Marigold, it's just incredible. It's like a slutty number five. <laughs> it's like a very dirty, trashy Chanel number five. Now, this version is made in Germany from 2016. It's similar to the... I have it here as well. Yeah, it's similar to the vintage Eau de Toilette, 
but it doesn't have the depth the vintage has it doesn't have the vanilla from the get-go but you can smell it definitely in the dry down that very deep dark vanilla this version made in germany definitely has more basil in the opening it's kind of more soapy and more detergency than the vintage or the toilet yeah it's they're very similar but the depth is not there it's like a more airy take on the vintage of the toilet but still very close you can tell it's Dolce Gabbana perfume um this here is the pure perfume i believe it's also vintage from the 90s but there is zero information on the internet about it if you guys know when it was released just please let me know it's probably also from the 90s but most likely a very limited release it's a 15 ml pure perfume it smells just like the vintage or the toilet but it's deeper it's more concentrated there is no change in the construction of the perfume it's amazing it's just incredible this one and now this new version here <laughs> made by france made in france oh god i have it here that opening is nothing like the like the two here it's so different it's like this aldehydic type of uh old school laundry detergent it's also giving uh disinfection spray <laughs> i'm sorry but this is like a drugstore take on the original it's like it smells like they've changed all the ingredients and replaced them with the cheapest ingredients they could find on the market and completely dumbed down the composition just to cut down cost. It smells like a very cheap, cheap drugstore take on the original, unfortunately. It's, it's very transparent. It lost most of its character. For example, if you sm if you spray all of them at the same time, you can smell the difference. It's very different on the skin. The original one toilet is very dirty. There's this ratchet smell about it. There's a lot of civet. It smells dirty and gross, but in a good way, I like it. This one kind of gives that feel. Like when you smell it from the bottle, you can immediately smell the civet in there. It's just so big. And this one here, there is this lily in the opening. I think it's lily. They, they usually use synthetic lily of the valley in cleaning products. And you can definitely smell that in here. <laughs> Oh God, I'm smelling them right now. I have all three of them sprayed. The original of the toilet, the original vintage. It's so smooth, everything is well blended together. It's aldehydic, but the vanilla warms everything up and rounds the entire composition. The made in Germany version, it's very ratchet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, very similar to the vintage, but uh, there is a lot more indoles in there. Some type of, probably the, it's probably the civet in there. Oh God, it's so good. And, and now this one, It's cleaner than both of them. It's more transparent, it's fresher, it's citrusy. It doesn't have the vanilla these two have. I don't know what they've done to it, you guys. I'm sorry, but I'm really not feeling it. But this is just a first impressions video, you guys. 
I'm going to give it some time to age and maybe it's going to change. Maybe, maybe it's going to get deeper and better. We'll see. So that was my first impression on the new formulation of DNG Signature Red Cap and a little comparison to previous formulations and concentrations that are very hard to find. And the last thing I want to talk about in this video is if you're a big fan of DNG Red Cap, then you probably would want to try out the original inspiration for it. Or may I say the original TNG red cap? Yop Fem. It came out in 1989 and even in its mother formulation it, it still smells absolutely incredible. Um, there is not there is also aldehydes in this one, but it's not screechy aldehydes, it's not as crazy as this one. There's definitely aldehydes and instead of civet. There is indolic flowers in this one, but it gives the same effect as the civet in DNG Red Cap. It is just incredible. It's also a little bit sweeter than Red Cap, but when you compare these two together, I would definitely go for this one. Don't get this one. <laughs> you have to smell this one, you guys. Oh my god, it's so, so freaking good. This is such an amazing, amazing perfume. I can only imagine what the vintage smells like. Oh god, it's so, 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 so good. You need to give it a try, it's just incredible. It's definitely the inspiration for DNG Red Cap. It has so much character, especially than this new version. I would just go for this one. And for those who are real big fans of DNG Red Cap, the original, don't get this one. Honestly, just try to find a, a vintage bottle on eBay. It's not that easy. it's not that hard to find. There are plenty of bottles out there. Try to find one if you're a real fan. Or just get this one and overspray. And then you will get some type of effect a resemble resemblance to the original if you overspray then it's going to be somewhat somewhat similar so yeah that that's it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments down below are you a big fan of dng red cap just like i am let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe comment like you can also find me on instagram is the same username as here omilio go follow me there if you want him yeah Thank you so much for watching and